In Duval County, Cecil Airport may receive a major investment if a Texas-based aviation company moves its headquarters there. So if that happens, the River City would be the hub where a first-of-its-kind private jet could be built. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now. And Aaron, there's one feature of this jet that's really getting a lot of attention. So that big feature is that there would be no windows on the plane. Here's what that would look like from the outside. So you see the jet right there. It's called Phantom 3500. Instead of windows in the cabin, it would look like this. It might look like there are some windows there on the sides and even on the top, but that's actually what the company is called a panoramic, a panoramic visual experience. It's calling it a supernatural vision. There's no examples of what that would ultimately look like if it goes through. Here's a look at what, uh, what the Phantom 3500 would look like from a video that Auto Aviation posted on its website. The creators say that not having windows would make the plane more aerodynamic and reduce the drag on the jet while it's in the air. The company says the Phantom 3500 would be able to operate efficiently in turbulent conditions and fly faster than a typical commercial plane, all while using half of the amount of fuel. It would be twice the width of other private jets. If everything is approved, here's a timeline auto aviation is considering right now for that new jet. The company would start research and development at Cecil Airport by early 2027, which would also include test flights of that Phantom 3500. Auto Aviation wants to get FAA certification and have the jet in service by 2030. And by moving to Jacksonville, Auto Aviation says it plans to create about 1,200 jobs with an average salary of $90,000 a year. 400 of those jobs would be filled by 2031, according to the company. We first told you about this potential plan a little more than a week ago. The project is called Project Bluebird. Auto Aviation is planning to invest more than $400 million at Cecil Airport. According to our news partners at the Jacksonville Daily Record, JAA approved a nearly $35 million incentive and investment package for this project during a meeting back on Monday, so a few days ago. The city of Jacksonville is also proposing $20 million in incentives. Well, legislation for the city's incentive offering is expected to be filed at some point today. A final vote by city council could happen at some point in June.